Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Yes, that is Machu Picchu actually. Machu Picchu is up there, but the ruins are down there. And today we have for you are some tips about visiting Machu Picchu. So let's go around and see some more stuff. So if you're looking at how you're gonna get to Machu Picchu, you have the Inca Trail, which is usually a four day hike, or you can take the train. There's multiple train options. We're on the Velodrome or whatever, we have windows everywhere. It is more pricey, but it is well worth doing because you have great views to see on the way here. So that is kind of cool. So. Those are the buses you'll take up the hill or down the hill, 24 bucks up, 12 bucks down, or you can actually hike up all the way to Machu Picchu or hike down, just so you know. So, the bus ride up here is... Well, if you're afraid of heights, you should just stare at the close side of the mountain because, holy cow, it's like... Whoosh, thousands of feet. I mean, it, these, these, it's the Andes, right? They're like these sharp mountains and you're switchbacking up them and I was afraid I was very very afraid um, so just just be aware of that um, and if you get motion sickness or you're having some altitude sickness problems you should probably get some Dramamine or you know something um, maybe some of those patches or whatever because um, it's a ride if you want to come you can come almost all year round to visit it though Inca Trail is closed in February and December, January, February, March are rainy seasons, so it can be very wet when you are here and it makes it slippery and dangerous. But the super busy season, though, is June, July, and August, where they might have like 6,000 people here at Machu Picchu at a time, which is the max, which I couldn't imagine how they would do that because that is crazy. So uh, if you come in the shoulder season or off season, that's you and a couple hundred of your favorite best buddies. So there's the doorway into Machu Picchu behind you there. That's where the Inca Trail ends. Um, I hiked the Inca Trail about, well, about 20 years ago, let's say, and uh, it was a really great experience. Um, it is not an easy hike. It's not an impossible hike, but it's not an easy hike, but it is well worth doing. Some of the tips I have for you for hiking the Inca Trail, one, you gotta book it in advance because only 500 people can be on the trail a day, like at a time. So you gotta be careful with that, so book ahead. Um, also, make sure you wear good shoes. Don't wear, you know, don't wear crappy shoes. Oh, you know, do flip flops or some, you know, Birkenstocks or something. Oh my God. That is not gonna take it. Or the crazy lady who had heels on. Are you kidding me? Yeah, heels. I saw a guy with uh, Crocs on. Um, so you wanna make sure you have good walking shoes. Bring water, and you wanna have water purification tablets because when you're hiking and stuff, there's no kiosk on the way. Um, also, sunblock, bug spray really can make a big difference because um, I mean you get burned pretty good because you're really high up here even though it's cloudy a lot of the times uh, you want to be careful with that okay another thing is <laughs> you're going to run out of batteries because you're taking so many pictures and all kinds of stuff make sure you bring some, a couple good battery chargers because remember if you're going to be the four day hike it's four days three nights and there's cool sights on the way too so you're not just saving up for here you want to take pictures and videos and all kinds of stuff the other places because man it is just awesome here. So make sure you do that, okay? Other things you might want to think about is you need to have your passport with you at all times because all the tickets have your name and passport number on there so people can't resell them. So like your bus to come up here, the train tickets, your entry to Machu Picchu, they're going to have to keep getting your passport out again and again and again. So do make sure you bring your passport with you, okay? Another thing you should know is the steps are very uneven here and they can be really big steps. So you got to be careful. Have little kids or you can't take really big steps. Take your time here, okay? Stop, get your breath. Watch your stuff, stuff like that, because it can be quite dangerous and there are some big drops some places, so do be careful. Another thing that's really important when you come to Machu Picchu, get a good guide. Don't, don't expect your guidebook to tell you everything you want to know, the history, the background, more of the story, stuff like that. The guides here really are fantastic and they get excited for it. I know our guide this time, you know, he's like, no, we must go to this one specific outlook to have the best picture that you're going to be on your Christmas card and stuff like that. And it really it does make a big difference. I mean, the first time I came here years ago, the, uh, the guys were amazing. I remember the guy we had when I was here before, but I think it's real. The guy was like, no, and he would like grab people to pull them over to uh, <laughs> make sure they went and saw all the main stuff. You must see this. You must take a picture here. Come, come. It was pretty funny, but the guides here really are fantastic. They give a lot of good background of everything. So definitely, definitely sign up for a guide. Don't just, don't just do a, uh, you're on your own. One of the things, if you're hiking the Inca Trail, or you're taking a guide, make sure you do tip them. You tip the guide, and you tip the porters that carry all the stuff when you're doing the Inca Trail, and the cooks, because they do a lot of hard work, and so they deserve a little bit of extra money. So, just a lad on there for you. Also, you notice it's a one-way thing, so once you see something, you can't really go back, so. Make sure you enjoy what you want to enjoy when you can, because getting back to there can be a bit difficult. Now, sadly, you probably won't see the bear here. Um, sometimes they do pop in, but you might see some chinchillas and you'll definitely see some llamas around here. Uh, so there is that. Um, but what you also see is there's a lot of not guards, but kind of like rangers here. And if you get them blowing the whistle, it means somebody's doing something wrong. Like you can't be loud. You can't be going into dangerous places. 
because it can be dangerous. Up by the sundial a few years ago, tourists fell off and died. So you do want to be careful. I mean, these are steep drop-offs sometimes, so do be careful. And those ranges are there to help you. So if you have questions, you can ask them. One thing is when you come into town, uh, if you take the train in, you get into Aguas Calientes, which has tons of restaurants. There's some hotels you can stay at and things like that. It's where you'll catch the bus to come up, the one that yeah, Jocelyn's scared of. Um, that's where you grab that. Um, they do have some hot spas there. Probably want to go to those earlier in the day before it gets gross with all the tourists like me that go there. <laughs> but there is that there for you. But honestly, you will love your visit to Machu Picchu. It is fantastic whether you see the sundial or <laughs> you see the terraces or hear the stories and all kinds of stuff. It's just, it is just amazing. <laughs> so we hope you have a good time here because it is fantastic. Enjoy it all. The views are spectacular. <laughs> so if you look way back there, this is the line to get the bus if you go in the afternoon. If you come in the morning, the line, I mean, we literally just walked straight on the bus when we were here at 10. But we see, go way back there. So those people are probably gonna be waiting half hour or more to get on a bus. Um, so if you can come, come early. Excuse me, because it is amazing. The more time you can spend there, the more you're gonna love it because Machu Picchu is amazing. So anyway. <laughs> Oh, we don't mind that this video is all just chopped together. We kind of had a little accident with our normal camera. So all we had is a mobile phone to finish us off. But hey, it's a cool place. And a nice little bus and lots of little doggies everywhere. So I hope those tips help you out to enjoy more of Machu Picchu. If you want to learn more, 10 things that will shock you about Peru. What you should eat when you're here. Yes, there is cooey, guinea pig, and all kinds of other stuff. Check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. Bye from Machu Picchu.